We're sorry, but this number is not available at this time. Come on, Mizuki. Hmm? Well, you're up early. Though, forgetting to lock your door is a rookie mistake. What's it meat got to lose anyway? Definitely not a life. Oh, Saki. Hey, what's with a long face? Show a little pep. Good morning, Asahi. Yo. Mippity and Yamato, too. How are you? Mm, you know. Man, you are sulky for someone who's finally started contributing some value to society. I can certainly understand why you're feeling down, though. But if you don't snap out of this funk, you'll end up staying in neat forever. So? At times like this, the best thing you can do is get up and move your body. I really don't think it... And we have just the thing to get you going again. We've gathered some new information. We know the true identity of the pink-caped man. He's... Delusion Contractor Cannon. Yeah, I know. Oh, how exactly did you learn that? I have my ways. We found out by picking a business card up off the ground. A deeply troubling one, for that matter. There's really no one else it could have belonged to. Anyway... If you know about Canon, then we're on the same page, so get yourself ready and let's go! You have 30 seconds! Shouldn't that be 40 seconds? Huh? Uh, never mind. I'll be waiting outside, Asahi! What's her deal, anyway? Saki's been really worried about you, Asahi. Apparently she was waiting all day to see you yesterday. She was? Personally, I just wanted to go home. She said she was going to keep waiting for you, though, no matter what. But then you didn't show or even call. So she roped us into coming to fetch you at this ungodly hour. I had no idea. So what do you say, Asahi? Come with us. Come with you where, exactly? We're going to track down this so-called delusion contractor. And since your buddy's in the Freedom Fighters now, he's probably doing the same thing. We might just run into him. But... Why, you want him to catch that punk before we do? Yamato, that's not helping. It's fine, Mippity. Yamato's just trying to motivate me. In his own terrible, emotionally deaf way. <laughs> you wish. I owe you an apology too, Mippity. I guess you all must have been worried sick. Oh, no, no. I'm the last person you need to apologize to. Well, apology or no, I don't want to keep Saki waiting any longer than I already have. That's the spirit. Let's go. If I hold myself up in my apartment forever, I'll never get anything done. Then stop blathering on about nothing and get ready. You've got 40 seconds. We'll be waiting for you. Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Still, thanks everyone. I needed this. Assume someone who takes other people's delusions and builds them out, maybe? If this canon person is responsible for the spread of the delusions and Akihabara's time loop, then all we have to do is stop him and we can finally see tomorrow. But how are we supposed to even find him? As best as I can tell, he lives on the corner of rumor and urban legend. All we can do is look. We're not getting anywhere just twiddling our thumbs. Unless you have a better idea. Wait. We're just gonna walk around and gather clues. Isn't there a more effective way to do this? Nope. Legwork's the only way. We need to put our shoes to the pavement and get eyes on confirmation of our clues. Um... Yes, Ryu? Why don't we start by searching Akiba to see if any new delusions have popped up? So, look for encroachment instead of looking for Cannon? Yeah. If Cannon's really building out other people's delusions like Yamato says... And maybe a new delusion in Akiba could end up leading us to him. That's a great idea. If there are any new delusions, it's unlikely that Cannon would be too far away from them. And if we chase every single one down, we might just catch up to him. 
and not only him either. Asahi? So, we're right back where we started then. Leg work. <laughs> fan friggin tastic That better not be a complaint. Now, if everyone's legs are ready, let's put them to work. We might want to split up to cover more ground. Uh, Saki? Right. That would be the most efficient plan of attack. We'll break into teams and move on out. Is something the matter? Nothing. It's all right. Everything is just fine the way it is. Sorry? I don't need friends. Okay, yeah, that's the opposite of what people say when things are all right. You actually look kind of pale. What is your problem? Huh? Oh, I'm just... Stay away from me, you disgusting foul brute. I don't recall ever giving you permission to speak to me. Do you? So you're going to remove yourself from my presence this instant. Getting within one meter of me is strictly forbidden. One meter's a lot of space, to be honest. Silence! You still haven't earned the right to talk to me. Let's try starting over. May I please talk to you? Would that be all right? No! Seriously? I forbid you from even breathing within five meters of me. And from blinking, too. Furthermore, you're not allowed to reflect my image in those dirty eyes of yours. Do we understand each other? Look me in the eyes and swear it if you do! But uh, how can I? What... Ugh. You are also forbidden from remembering that I exist. And don't you dare forget that. That's a contradiction, damn it! Then each shouted to nobody? What was that all about, though? Anything wrong? Well... Guess as long as she's okay, it's fine for her to be a little crazy. Oh, it's Mippity! Hey, Asahi! What's the sitch? Um, well, Saki wants us all to regroup. Huh? Isn't that a little premature? <laughs> we'll be waiting for you at the station plaza. Hmm, wonder what happened. So what's up? Why are we regrouping? Change of heart. I think we should all stick together for this search. <laughs> huh? Hey, Yamato, are you down with this? You're whining. It was fine. That was the opposite of fine. How come I had to foot the bill at all the maid cafes? Well, you are the oldest. It only seemed fitting. But what about at the arcade? One of you has to have some change. But think of all the cute stuffed animals we got. And who was it who got so caught up that he made me buy a whole stack of lots of lots raffle tickets? Hmm? Hey! With that many, it seemed like a sure bet we'd win something. Well, I probably didn't need my living.